Hey, sorry about that. I ran out of film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the wardens were telling me that this here pine tree, this big pine tree right here, is the eagle roost. And, well, there's another one right there. Big giant pine. Yeah. I was coming down here one day just to hang out and do some meditating. Because you, you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm right down here because there's the two islands. There's one right there. And the other island is actually right in the background. I don't know if I'm going to show you. Just the water coming. Yeah, there was an eagle actually on the big pine tree when I came down. It just flew up over the big islands here, and this became my meditation spot. Actually, the first time the first time I was ever here. I don't know if you guys watched that film, but I found some blue jay feathers. It was actually, it was snowing then, it was back in February, and uh, right in here, there's no bed frame, and I was kind of laughing at it, because, well, look at it, the trees grew right through it, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's no bed frame in there, the trees grew right up through it, <laughs> left over from the farm, and right here, oh my god, there's one, there's another one still, <laughs> I'm going to have to give an offering. See the blue jay feather? Look at that. No, I'm just going to leave that one there. Look at that. There's a nice little blue jay feather still. But yeah. I noticed there was some, some feathers sticking out of the snow. That was actually the first feathers that I found in the park. So, of course, I had to make an offering, leave some sage, and uh, yeah, now i got a bunch of blue jay feathers at home to uh, stick in some dream catchers. Ooh, excuse me. I was thinking of starting to tie some flies for fishing too. Pretty cool. Have some blue streamers or something, eh? Yeah. Well, here we are. A little cove over there. Oh. Nice big oak tree there. You see the oak see the oak tree right there? Just kinda like right there. Nice, I bet that'll look nice in the summer. Yeah. We got a bunch of maples up on top in there and mixed in with some spruce and all that. And yeah, the two islands. The two big islands. <laughs> and that hemlock tree. The, see the tree out there? It's kind of just sitting there. <laughs> Back in February it was way on the shore there. I think the tide just keeps dragging it out every time it goes in. It just kind of sits there and every time it comes out it pulls it out a bit long, a bit more. So. Who knows, I might come down here next month and film it. It might be way out past the island. <laughs> That's nature for you though, right? That's what nature does best. Keeps things, keeps things looking beautiful. Nice to hear the waves, eh? Ah, oh, you smell that salt air. It's salt water, eh? Oh, that smells so good. Yes. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Good to see you again. Yes, my father's buried in the ocean, so... Wherever the ocean is, that's where he is. Him and his dog, Thor. My, two of my best buddies. God love you guys. Capsay. I, I probably say that in every video about this place. I could go like this and bob up and down in the waves. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to go hang out on those islands for the afternoon and just hang out, do a little bit of, you know, looking around. You know, I might find some cool eagle feathers. Yeah, don't want to disturb any animals, but if I see them, I'll just leave them alone. Yeah. Catch them on film, maybe. Yeah. The tide's in pretty high tonight, though. Yeah. You see, it's right up to the rocks here. Pretty cool. It smells good when it's a nice high tide. Mmm. 
<laughs> when the tide's out, <laughs> it stinks. It smells like the bottom. <laughs> yeah. But when the tide's in, oh, it smells like just salt, salt water. Nice, beautiful. Yeah. Check it out, eh? Look at all the clamshells. Just tons and tons of clamshells. You know what this is from? I'll tell you what this is from. This is from when the costly farm was around. I'm pretty darn sure. If it's if I'm wrong, correct me. But I think this is all here from when the people that actually own this property way back in, you know, before the 60s, back in the 1900s, you know. They actually used to dig clams out here in the in the flats. They probably go out in their boats, dig clams in their buckets and bring them back here. And then they shuck them all down here. And uh it could be the birds doing it now. But uh, yeah, there's a clam shell right there. Pretty neat, eh? Put that back. Yeah. So, uh, oh, there's a nice size one. There's about the normal size of the clams around here. Some of them are bigger. Like, if I was to go down Eastern Passage, I, think, I don't know if I showed a video of that or not. But I swear, excuse me, the quahogs are that big. They're, they're like that big, thick. And around, I swear, around, they're like this, huge. I'll have to show you sometimes. I got a couple other shells at home. But yeah, if you go down the Eastern Passage, <laughs> you just kind of wiggle your toes in the sand. And if you feel a little hole, <laughs> or if you see a little hole, just dig down about, I don't know, not even a half a foot, and they're just right under the surface. And they got this big giant tongue, like, <laughs> They're really cool. They dig with their tongue. If you take one of them and stick it on the beach, right, right, right at the water's edge, they'll actually stick their tongue into the sand and start digging down, and, and they'll bury themselves like within probably a few minutes. They're so cool to watch. I'll have to film one to show you guys. Yeah, they call them quahogs. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They got bar clams or razor clams. Yeah, they're pretty cool too. Yeah, they look like a, a straight razor blade. I got a couple of those at home too. I'll have to show you sometime. It's time for that. Wait till I go mackerel fishing out in July. Out the passage. I'll show you guys that. Some nice ospreys and cormorants living out there. Lots of fishing. Lots of fun there. You catch uh, flounder, sculpins, cod, pollock, and of course the mackerel. I've even caught a few crabs on my fishing rod. <laughs> yeah. Crabs like fish too. You can put a little chunk of fish on your hook for bait to catch flounder, sometimes you'll end up with a crab. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna sit down on the rock and soak in the scenery before the sun's gone. So, hey, thanks for watching, eh? Hopefully I'll see the rabbit on the way back. You guys get to see my clothes. Hopefully it's not too dark. <laughs> right on. Thanks for watching. No more relations. Kept safe. Cheers.